Welcome back to Draymond Does Gaming. Draymond here playing more Pale Beyond. Uh, let's get up here to week seven, where we left off. Okay. Um, what do we have? Oh, yeah, some of the uh, being able to hunt. Um, I feel like we need more like research. Maybe we'll conduct some of that this time around. Cordell, that young woman, Kasha. Flash of her camera has started startled my dog several times now. It's growing tiresome. Um are they respectable photographs at least? I do not care to ask. I'm already fully aware of how my dogs appear. Still, the cameras are her sole purpose out here. As much as annoyance it is, it would not be right to rob her of that. Okay. Nothing for fish. Oh, that's just that. Uh, down below, anything we can do or see down here? Again. I mean, we might as well be grabbing this stuff, right? Always good to grab all this stuff. Alright. Well, let's head back up. And we'll start the day. We only have Grimly. Oh. Shaw. Sure. Put a stop to those rumors going on about Hunt. That's simple. The sailors do seem to listen to you. I will not be hearing them whispers again. Oh. That's it? Yeah, I would find it wise to have a word with the journalist among our crew. For whatever reason, Hunt allowed for a photographer with no sailing experience to tail alongside this expedition. As it stands, Kasha Belford's record is what will stand the test of time when this expedition is spoken of, and it would seem she has not made allies of the crew. Kasha, she doesn't seem like the type to make enemies. Is it necessary she makes friend of the crew? She's here to record history. Uh, I like the top one. Not with purpose or malice, Captain. The sailors of the crew are a private lot. They do not take kindly to the prying eyes of a landlubber, as they would say. Remember, Captain, she controls the story. She controls your story. Best to have a word. Remember, Shaw, reputation can be fragile. You do not need an unflattering image at a time like this. Thank you. I guess. Still no fish, eh? Okay, oh wait, um, back up. What is this? Build, oh, that's where the build dog loose is. Okay, yeah, we'll have to do that. We'll send someone to do those. Ah, I wanted to go downstairs. Oh, you know what? Maybe we can just do that today. Needs three people. Two of them have frostbite. One, two, I don't know, three. There we go. Um, how do we get rid of frostbite again? Command to rest. Okay. Um, scientist storeroom. Gather research. Gain three decorum instantly, as well as one research for the expedition. Uh, we'll come back to that. Yeah, we can feed the hoosh pot with. Maybe a little bit of that. Maybe like 
one spoiled ration. Seems okay. Oh, someone's malnourished. It's fine. You'll be okay. Um... Anyone free for an interview? I always want to send at least one person to do this. I'd like to get more of the sailors in here. Um, who have we done so far? That guy. And Kurt? Doesn't seem right. Oh, this guy. Uh, we could do two Johns or Nomez. Ones, the ones that are, and we, oh yeah, we can't do like any of the you guys. All right, two Johns. A little bit of research, some decorum. Um, ah. When was the last time you slept, Chief? Got a good couple hours in a while back. A couple. You're gonna work yourself to death before we even make land. Heard that before, but it hasn't bloody happened yet. Back to work. Um, ask engineers to raise the heat, cures, oh, there's no one freezing, okay, oh, because they're, right, okay, 20, 40, perfect, um, room has been flooded, Okay, so we want to go back up to here. Um, and pump. Oh, you need four people? Need four. Okay. Well then, I don't know if it's even worth... Worth it, then. So we'll come back up here because we still want to do this stuff. Um, we could do this. Hunt the migrating crab eater seals. Yeah, that seems like a good thing to do. That many animal resources items at the end of the week. It's like we could do like one more. An engineer maybe. That would be a lot. That would be very good. Tashi, Gom Nomez, Dick, and Quizley are marked down to hunt for the week. I mean, that's a lot of food and stuff that we can get. Um, we'll go scouting that away. Now, if we want to do this, that's our three. Zach, Gloss, and Gloss are marked down for the week. Nine decorum. Okay. And then with our last three dogs, 
There we go. Research a pressure ridge. Okay. Okay. All in all, I think that's pretty good. And we have one one more person left over to do something. Maybe who do we have left? One engineer? Yeah. There we go. They get to work. Okay. Well, we're not going to be here for much longer, I imagine. Oh, okay. Dinner's empty. Pretty... Interrupted by a torrent of flooding. The crews are alarmed. Freezing. Freezing. Two more freezing people. Frantic arguments break out. Some even now insist on staying on board. Most argue to take the furnace from the boiler and abandon ship right now. Okay. Is that even something that we can do? We can talk. Works with a lot of captains of my time. Half of them don't even own their. <laughs> it's from their elbows. You're different from most. Try to live up to your expectations, then. You're better. But don't bloody do it for me, Shaw. Coal goes in, we stay alive. Really, that simple, isn't it? Oh, we can't even... Can't even do that right now. Hmm. I wonder how my editor will find my report in its finished state. It was a nightmare to getting my plague story published. Only the Daily Appeal was willing to pick it up, and they were hardly the most reputable of papers. You did wonders for the reputation, I understand. Don't like the idea of our story being told by a common rag. You're your award win. I'm sure any other paper would take you on. Yeah, let's do that one. That's true, but I don't know if I'd accept. Daily Peel is far from a perfect newspaper, but they trust my writings when no one other did. Faith like that shouldn't go unrewarded, I think. And she's not wrong. Okay, we don't have the two Johns picture in there yet. Okay. Well, this isn't overly great. But I guess we're going to end the week here. Whew. Crew members will be cured of their freezing and malnourishment. Okay, we actually can't do... What about just normal? There we go. Alright. Let's do this. Okay. Five crab eater seals, three research, dogs arrested, he's freezing. Freezing. Cured. Cured. Okay, cured of freezing. Here to freezing, no longer malnourished. Runt is demoralized. He's also demoralized. Man, Mr. Gloss sure has a lot of bad things happening for him. <laughs> okay. I can't imagine. We want to stay here for much longer. You can't escape. Dead. Dead. 
dead. Oh. I guess we should have uh, went out, went out there the uh, end of the day type of thing. I thought we could leave this morning. Well, that's lovely. <laughs> This is one way to end it. Await your fate. She's gone. You along with the rest of your expedition and your hopes of rescue now lie at the bottom of the unforgiving ice. Okay, well I guess the one nice thing about this game is you can kind of come back and load in from here. So we're going to do that again. Um, go ahead and just grab, you know, all the stuff that we were going to. Um, Yeah, we can feed it. There we go. Oh, no one can be cured right now because they have frostbite, not freezing. Ah. Oh my god. Come on. Why are you doing to this, this to me game? Same thing with, oh my god, this is a pain in the butt. Alright, well we did that. We're going to feed this again. We're going to do everything that we just did. Yeah, he's malnourished. We're going up. Going up. Doing this. Doing that. So we're going to kind of speed run this part here. We know Grimly. Yeah, we're not going to have to worry about talking to Shaw, etc. Finish your quests. Make sure we talk to Kasha. Um, yeah. Burn through this really fast. Talk to Templeton again. Um make sure we go and build this okay um right no fish there we go Go down, go to the med bay, the med bay, Mr. Frostbites. There we go. Um, can't do anything with that, or we weren't going to do anything with that. Head on down, go here. Assign two Johns here. Um, Listen in. When was the last time you slept? Yep, yep. Okay, so. That means. We should be able to do all this stuff again. Kind of want to do this one. Seems like a good thing to do. Bernie. Front. We send like a scout last time and an engineer. Yeah, we want to get as much of that stuff as we can. Oh my god, it's game sometimes. Okay. We wanted to come here. 
we just did like everybody right yeah wanted to come that way wanted to come that way was it yeah okay that opened up that we have one guy left I think it was like an engineer no dogs oh yeah make sure we pet pet them um, and I think we sent him to get coal like I said we're going to do everything that we did Perfect. Do all of this. This happens, and then we're gonna leave. Crews are alarmed, everybody's freezing. Some people are demoralized. That's fine. And then we come down here. Worked with captains a lot, etc., etc. Try to live up to your expectations. And then we say, abandon ship. Furnace is bo torn from the boiler. We're heading out then. Best tell the lads. We're moving out. Yes, Captain's orders. For now, we should focus on setting up a campsite on the ice. Leave the equipment hauling for later. No worries, I'll get them to work. I'll we'll have a camp set up before we know it. You're taking that with you? I Can't go a day without it, can you? Boy, the crew like the music. Fair enough, you better get to hauling them lifeboats next. They're a bit more important than an accordion. Aye. I know. Arf! Arf! Calm, Stanbury. We're simply moving to the ice. Arf! Yes, yes. It's all very exciting. The rest of you behave yourselves. We'll be treated to an extra helping of soup. Well, there we have it. The heart of the ship ripped clean from their chest, but she still beats for the crew. How long were you waiting on that one? Well, because it was shite, no time for po poetry. Captain, let's get this bloody furnace set up on the ice. All right. We're now getting this all set up here now instead of the ship. Well, That's kind of cool. See, I thought we could have at least done it in the morning type of thing, but no, that's okay. Um, what are you doing up there? Now's the last chance to get a shot like this. Isn't that dangerous? Don't worry, I've done it before. Don't tell the captain. Okay, there. Perfect. Farewell, temperance. Captain, I hope your new lodgings are to your comfort. Not, I'm afraid you will have to power through until rescue. We say goodbye to the temperance, but our work is far from over. We weren't going anywhere holding on to that anchor. What's our next order of business? You've done well to already strip the lower decks of the ship. Perhaps the wildlife should be our next focus. Agreed. Um, regardless, we need our wits about us. We stand alone against the ice now. Well, enter the re okay the request tent. Speak to Templeton. Shaw, it's been some qu quite some time since we first met. When I first met you at the docks, I found it difficult to read you. Your thoughts different now. That remains to be seen, does it not? I can say I did not see this turn of uh, events ahead of us. 
Warwick the third crew member approaches you during dinner. Captain, looks like you could eat, use some more to eat. Um, taking up the responsibility of captain is as admirable as it is unedifable. Please help yourself some of my own ra rations. Frankly, I'm stuffed. Uh, thank you, but there's no need. Oh well, the offer is always there. Um, he returns to their seated position as others in the crew look at them with annoyed expressions. It appear their attempts at gratifying command was unsuccessful. Interesting. Good to see you don't hide away from the crew. In the evening, Shaw. Didn't know what to make of you at first. Understand I'm hard to place. No doubt, but I'd say you place better than most. You get your photo snapped by that photographer too? Aye. She's a land lover for sure. Treating us as like we're some novelty. I don't have much problem with it. Good conversation at least. I'd rather have less good conversation out here. Interesting. Can't tend to the furnace if I'm nabbing tonight. And there I was, face to face with a leopard seal. Dangerous creatures cannot be mistaken for your average seal. Natural hunters, much faster on land than you'd expect. How'd you deal with that then? I was lucky I had my hunting shotgun at the ready. They were feasting on a leopard seal that night. Of course, of all the times the crew weren't filming. Ah, uh, pull the other one. It's true. This other time we, as he continues to rapple on, seems like you'll be there for a while. I'll come talk to you, Cash, in a minute here. Evening, Captain. There was a song that found itself stuck in my head earlier. Dogs are pleased when I began humming it. I fear I may have to make it a habit. Music reminds me of home. I take it the same for you. There's no home to be reminded. I prefer to keep moving. Perhaps the ability to do so is what I miss. Been trying to come up with new songs, something about seals, I'm thinking. Hard to think though, winds are too distracting. But I've had a new song in a while. Keep it light, I'm sure the crew would appreciate something jovial. Thing about seals. You're the creative sort then? Yeah, here we go. Keep it light, I'm sure the crew would appreciate something jovial. Aye, that's the plan. Harder to think jovial out here. You're not married, are you, Shaw? Take it from me, if you ever do find yourself wedded, it's never as easy as it looks. Uh, what brought this on? Late evenings on the ice grant you quite a lot to look back on. I've had a lo long life to look back on, Shaw. Alright. Furnace... As you pass by, you see Cash adjusting her camera as she stands, partially obscured as she finds the right angle for shots. So you step to her side, she raises her head and looks at you. What are you taking photos of? The crew, of course. This is quite the unique situation where I want to capture the mood. Maybe I could place it beside our initial crew photos, compare and contrast. Oh, that's brilliant. You don't have to capture everything you know, you can join the others if you wish. Kurt remains in good spirits, I see. I'm sure many of them have stories to tell. Her eyes dart the, to the crew, briefly lingering on the stature of Kurt, then back to you. Of course, I'm sure many of them have plenty to share. For now, I think I'm better off in the background taking pictures from a distance. Intimidated? Of course not. Why would I be intimidated? Is it really that obvious? It's simply that I followed Kurt's expeditions a lot as a child. Seeing him in person is odd. <laughs> is he shorter than you expected? Um, so you're simply starstruck. I wouldn't put it that way. There's a common adage you may have heard. Never meet your heroes. I'd like to avoid becoming one who repeats that adage. 
So you're worried about being disappointed. Without an interview from Kurt, your chronicle isn't complete. Um, yeah, I'll do that one. You're right. I hate that you're right. It's more than... It's more that up until now, he's been an idea. Does that make sense? Kurt is just another person like you and I. I suppose so. Well, I'll leave you be. I'm still looking for the right shot. Neat. And then with that, I think we've talked to everybody. So, let's end it here. Okay, normal. Um, and there'll be... Yeah, so that should cure them of every... So crew member will be cured of their freezing. Yeah, okay. If I read that right. So we get the five crab eater seals, three research. Dogs are available. Becomes freezing, becomes freezing. Cured. Cured. Okay, so they are cured of their freezing and malnourish, demoralized, and demoralized. But his turned into frostbite? Oh, come on. <laughs> That's not who we want to have have frostbite. Minus five decor. Why? Why to start? Do we have so much less decorum? Pet the dogs every morning? Seems like a good idea. Ah, doctor, how are you holding? Still find yourself with bouts of sickness? No, no, that isn't the problem. It was only seasickness. Now that no longer my sea, my stomach settled for the most part. You ever feel the queasiness set in once more? I learned an old trick in my travels. So close your eyes, back, count backwards from ten. Worked for me as a youth. Okay. Well. That, that's where... That's where we can do this. Um. It's freezing. He's got frostbite. So he's got to stay there. And I want to put Runt here. And then beyond that, we're going to enter the request tent. Uh oh. Then here goes the, uh, the ship. Continue to watch. I mean, what else is there to do but to continue? She's gone. Heads hang low amongst the crew. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of people demoralized. But we will be okay. Oh my goodness, let's zoom out a little bit here. The hoosh pot. We even have much we can throw in here. Not a whole lot. Okay. We'll come back. It looks like the only thing we can do is enter the requests. 
so let's take some requests. Kasha and Junior. Junior. Sure, I don't suppose you've been keeping track of the days. Uh, of course I have. Maybe please note that today is Imbolg. Not aware of such an occasion. Not surprised you wouldn't recognize it. To us, it's a major holiday. Don't expect to ask for the day off. No, it often comes with tr traditional feasts. I thought it could be good to hold one for the sailor's sake. Um, yeah, I see no problem there. Oh, come on, because we don't have... Can we not, like, add that? Oh, man. We don't have... We have stuff we can throw in the hoosh pot. That's unfortunate. If we actually can't do it right now. <laughs> oh man. A nice idea, but we can't spare the rations. Thought that'd be the case. Well, it's worth asking. At least we didn't lose his um, loyalty for that. And he still has another request? Captain, take a look at this. Before the ship sank, I was checking the cabins of, well, the missing crew. Seems they left behind a good amount of their belongings, a good few books and the like. I might choose for them now, but I'd put them at the top of my list for to burn for fuel. Can't do that. Yes, we can. You're in need as much fuel as we can, Belford. We, we, you'll need a good reason to preserve them. These aren't simply novels the missing crew brought with them for leisure. They left their journals behind, their diaries, logs of their life on the ship before... This can't be burned. Can't my request I hold on to these journals to use in my report like the rest of the crew to appreciate the stories being preserved. Suppose the sailors would not take kindly to burning the remnants of their lost colleagues. Aye, what else would do what else do we have? Not much else we can burn, is there? Uh it won't be necessary, Kasia. Keep the books for the report. Yeah, I didn't want to lose his. Find something better to burn then, Captain. Can't hold on to bloody well everything. Thank you, Captain sure their story is told. Won't be able to do that if we freeze to death. Alright, Junior again. The tin foods we picked up from the temperance. Okay. Should have expected this, but the tin tins were spoiled in the flooding. Is it still edible? Are you serious? Cannot be afford to be too selective. It may not be pleasant. But if it can be eaten without the poisoning the crew, it may still serve as rations. Hard to tell for certain there. Well, it's certain to taste like death, but it still may be edible. The may in that sentence is not so comfortable. Food is food, but I'm not sure it's worth the risk. No, no worth the risk. I have no intentions of poisoning my crew. I suppose we'd... Yeah, that's big, because I need these guys' loyalty to go up. I suppose we're better off avoiding that. One to ten peaches likely isn't worth the risk of poisoning. I agree. I don't think it is either. have any experience with cameras? No, but they can't be too complicated. Why, did you go and break yours? No, but I was wondering if something did happen, you'd at least have some parts to fix it with. Aye, I should. Is if I want to waste spare parts on a camera. Spare parts? You're hardly going to be wasting them. What could be more... What more could some spare scrap be used for? You have no idea. Keep your lip, Captain. Um, we do have some of these, which is great. That should bring us right up to the top. It's like, this is the part that kind of sucks, because it's like, oh man. <laughs> so the crab eater seals actually don't really do a whole lot for us. So it's like, and tin lemons actually don't do much either. It's 
All right, that puts us up. And Rent's malnourished. He's fine. He'll be okay. But we're up to 46. We actually probably want to do... Like, 50. Okay. We're already doing that. We're already doing this. So we kind of need to... Yeah. Zoom out as much as we can, because the biggest things now are, like, what can we afford to do? Do we have Hunt the Migrating, um, there we go, Hunt the Migrating Emperor Penguins. Seems good. Um, oh, this. I'm not a big fan of when it does that. We can hunt the little guys. Did kind of scout as far as we can, though. Oh, Is that fish. One, two. Three. Hmm. Three. Four fish. Seems like a good thing. Fish are always nice. And then if we can send... Like, I don't want... I guess we're not doing the research right now, but... So we can just send you out to do that. And we can hunt. Okay. We have one person left to do what? Not really anything. So I guess we're calling the crew for dinner. So I guess beforehand we'll always want to make sure to feed like the hoosh pot in the morning and stuff. Crew returned to their post despite the time. It's still bright light outside. Okay. Kennels, you spot a pair of dogs engaged in aggressive conflict. Teeth bared, snarling, two creatures snap at each other. Cordell is nowhere to be seen, but the kennel master's whip has been left aside, resting on top of a crate. As you look on, the fight begins to intens intensify. Um... Oh, man. I don't want to, like, piss off Cordell, but I try to do it ourselves and turn your attention to the two sparring animals. As you raise the whip, ready to crack, when a voice from behind interrupts you. Yeah, what do you think you're doing? Standing before you with the glare. Put that silly thing down. The whip is only for matters of life and death. Neither of them going for the throat. These boisterous displays are coming among, among the pack. Simple feed, and they'll stop. Shaw, if you see something that concerns my pack, inform me before you decide to do something foolish. D darn it. I mean, that makes sense. Well, let's pet them some more, and then we'll give them some fish tomorrow. Since we have finally found some. I wonder how my editor will find my report in its finished state. Is a nightmare getting the... Oh, yeah, this is... Uh... This is what we did last time. You did wonders for the reputation, I understand. Yes, and they're more than willing to coast off mine. Not that I mind. But why the daily appeal just for my reports? Prefer that to being drowned out by the other voices? Makes sense. Hello. Oh, hello. Do you need something? When did you become a doctor? Well, it was quite recent. I'm young into this line of work. Do you think I could be a doctor? Well, if you study, yes. You have one of your books? Of course. Doctor hands him a small book and run leaves. Good evening, Captain. Um, something you needed? Need the latest medical report? I'll have it repaired soon. Good to see you aren't losing your focus. Keep it up, Nutley. Oh, thank you, Captain. I'll try. Awesome. 
Can't tend to the furnace if I'm yabbing all night. Yeah. Watching those young pups. I don't know how I had that much energy. Har, you're not alone there, friend. Hard to remember days I moved without this cane. Hard to remember having both eyes. They'll look like us one day. Well, let's hope not. Well, to Imblog. Not quite the same with leftovers. Sorry I can't serve it more, Shaw sure wouldn't have it. Don't worry about the food, Junior. It's not about that. We get to celebrate it, that's what matters. Sure, sure. I would have loved to give them more. I must retire for the evening. I'll see you in the mornings for the morning requests. Alright. So we messed up a couple things, but that's okay. Now we know for the future, right? I really want to make sure... Oh, you know, only one person is freezing. So I wonder if that's it. It's the amount of people that would be freezing and stuff from there. Five emperor penguins, four fish, ten available crew. He be becomes freezing, becomes freezing. Cure to frostbite. Runt is no longer demoralized, and cured of freezing, and no longer malnourished. Nomez is demoralized, Cavity is demoralized, and hit- oh man. He's no longer demoral- wait, he's no longer demoralized, but minus five decorum? What is that? Okay, going into week nine. And that's where we're going to end this episode. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.